today we're going to look at raising vibrational frequencies. So this is a common question or a comment that I hear people say. I want to raise my vibrational frequency so I can breach that barrier or breach that veil and touch in, check in, or connect with my higher self or my higher consciousness. Today I want to look at a band of frequency. Okay, and inside this band of frequency, we're going to break it into four pieces. And this band of frequency has something to do with our human body and how our body works, how our brain works, how this electromagnetic organism that we are works, and why these bands are important. So we're going to look at the alpha, beta, theta, and delta frequencies. And these are bands of energy. And we can see these um, bands of energy. We can see these frequencies in our brain. We can kind of see what is going on in our brain during those frequency levels in our body. So the alpha level runs around 14 to 21 hertz. And that level is when we are wide awake <laughs> and we are fully cognizant. We're not being lazy, we are completely engaged. And then we have a beta frequency, and the beta frequency is about seven to 14 hertz. And this is when we are a little bit more relaxed, when our body is a little bit more relaxed, and maybe we've sat down to go read a book. So we're still engaged, we're still completely aware of our surroundings, we're just relaxing, we're sitting down, reading a book, having a cup of tea, no, I mean, we would know if somebody walked in or called us or we're still awake, we're just relaxed. Now, as we're reading our book and our brain begins to wander and it starts to daydream and we just kind of get even more relaxed and we're kind of in this awake dream state. And this is going to be our theta level. And the theta is running around four to seven hertz. And here... The words on the page are blurring and we're just not quite asleep, but we're not quite awake and our brain is open and there is so much imagination going on in our brain right now. It's hard to delineate what's real and what's not real. We're just engaged in a dream state while we're awake. Now our book falls onto our lap and we're completely slumped and we're completely relaxed and our eyes close and we enter the delta frequency, the delta band. And here, as we're asleep <laughs> and our body is completely relaxed, we have about 0.1 to three and a half, maybe up to four hertz. A frequency going on and we are completely relaxed we are asleep we are dreaming or maybe we're not dreaming or we're just knocked out we are asleep that is our Delta now these bands of energy these four primary bands of energy help modulate or regulate what's going on with our body physically. Now, if we want to raise this vibrational frequency, so let's say that we're in alpha and we want to raise this vibrational frequency, we want to get it up to that 21 hertz, or maybe we want to see if we can break that 21 hertz. And this is not our normal functioning level, okay? So this is above and beyond where we are optimized to run. And on a side note, each of us has um, optimal ranges within each one of those bands for our body. Remember, our body, even though it's human, and we can say, oh, that's a human frequency, or if we put a thumbprint or a fingerprint on a board, we can say, okay, that's a human fingerprint. In general, 
But when we look closer, that fingerprint is unique unto its own. And the same is with our frequencies. So we can see, okay, these are normal ranges of frequency. But when we delve in there, we can see that each frequency is unique unto its own towards that human body. So it's trying to stay within an optimal range of functioning. And we're going to be going in and out of alpha, beta, theta, delta throughout the day. So it's not like we have, okay, this is where I am and this is where I am. According to what's going on in our body or the environment around us, what's going on in the environment around us, that's where we're going to be um, modulating in between these different frequencies. So we're now in alpha and we want to say, okay, I want to raise my vibrational frequency. I really want to tap into that higher consciousness and I want to tap into that higher self. And... In our brain, when we talk about raising vibrational frequency or raising our vibration or whatever it is, however you've heard it, we're automatically assuming that we're taking a jump up, that we are going higher because we assume that our consciousness and our um, higher self is above us. So we're up here. So we have to raise our frequency to come up there. What we want to do is get rid of that term, I want to raise my frequency. <laughs> because if we were to raise our frequency, it would be like, I'm thinking of a good example. Okay, eating a bag of espresso beans or Pop Rocks or something that's going to make our body um, agitated. So it could put us in a form of mania. Um, it could just make us feel very, very agitated, uncomfortable. Because we're going above that band. Because we're taking our body. Now remember, these frequencies are for the physical body. And so we're trying to push them, our physical body, to go higher, to a higher frequency when we're already awake, when we're already fully engaged, to something higher than that. And we're thinking that's going to open up these pathways in our brain so we can tap into that higher self or higher consciousness. So we're getting rid of that term, raise our higher frequency. And what we want to look for or what we want to say or what we want to actually do is find harmony. And harmony is so important to opening up these pathways. And harmony is so important to touch tapping in to that higher self or higher consciousness or however you want to look at it. Because when we're in harmony, that means that everything is open that can be open. That is, um, nothing is out of tune, out of sync. It is just harmonized. And so it's I'm, I'm thinking here how to best describe it. Wait, harmony. <laughs> you know harmony. Um, so how do we do that? And, and what are some of the examples of harmony that we can imagine or do for ourselves to practice this? And one of the simple games that I used to play as a child when I would want to go farther, when I would really want to begin the exploration on the far edges of the universe, I could do that typically, but sometimes I would want to see it from a different vantage point or I would want to enter it from a different way. And <laughs> one of these ways was through humming. Now, you don't have to hum in order to create harmony, but sometimes it's a good tool or marker to remind yourself what harmony feels like or sounds like because we can do it physically. So what I would do is I, I would close my ears, close my eyes, and I would begin humming. Now, I'm just saying this on a side note, you don't need to be a great singer, and it doesn't matter if your voice is, you know, an absolutely wonderful voice because it's your voice. And I'm only saying this because I am a horrible singer and <laughs> um, 
yeah, if you if you heard me, you'd be like, wow, that's harmony. But for me, it is. <laughs> so I would close my ears and I would begin humming. And I would take that hum after I got relaxed, after I adjusted to hearing my own voice for a few seconds. And I would take a big breath and then I would hum. And I'd take a big breath and I would hum for as long as I could. And then I would start... Um, moving my range of sound to something that made it feel like there was no more body. So you're humming along and then all of a sudden you it's almost like going inside that sound or inside that hum and it feels like everything is opening and the delineation between your body and the exterior world goes away because neither one exists. So it's almost like you're entering into absolute nothing. Then, I'm not saying that's when you're going to tap in, but then when you're done doing that, put your hands down, don't hum anymore, and just relax. Just relax, kind of go into that theta band, I guess. And one of the neat things that you can do is when you train your body to find harmony, even when you're engaged at the alpha frequency where you're really, really engaged, you can have working in the background this harmony so you can start being more receptive to the messages and um, meanings and communication between he you here and your higher self or your higher consciousness. So I think that's what I wanted to say is change your wording from I want to raise my frequency to I want to find harmony. And again, you don't have to hum, but we're looking for harmony. And when you can get some of these bands to harmonize, that's going to open up more of these frequencies from your brain into your mind or into your consciousness. I'll talk to you guys later. And thank you very much for asking your questions. I look forward to reading them. And I will continue to answer them. Um, to the best of my ability. Thank you.